All righty. So we've got this, we've got this. Let's go ahead and send it on over to Keyshop. Now you can render in, uh, if you go back to, here, let me link you guys. Uh, if you want to do a little bit of stylized rendering, uh, if you go to my playlist here and you go to the ZBrush Guide Stylized Rendering, that's where we went through the Pablo Munoz Gomez's. Um, he runs the ZBrushGuides.com. I went through and did a bunch of uh, stylized rendering with him. So we, if we want to do like a stylized Batman render, let's choose a matte cap that we don't really like that much. We can go over here to like matte cap gorilla. And then, uh, not that we don't like it, it's just that we're going to replace it. So I'm going to go in here to my materials. And I'm going to load up some that we went over when we did that discussion. So you're going to see uh, right off the bat, we got some interesting ones here. So here's classic Batman. Here's a little comic style. Here's that one. Let's do classic Batman here. And we'll choose another one and we'll do skin. So now what we can do is we can take this head here and we can go to with uh, M RGB turned on. We can go to color, fill object, and we'll alt tap the Batman cowl. And we'll go to the Batman one, color, fill object. And then we can grab this eyeball here and we can just make that flat color. So now we've got, and all I guess the eye, eyelashes we would need to do, I guess we'll just do that one. Color, fill object. Anyway, you want more information on that? We go over that as well. And also you are gonna, when you go to render here with your sub pixels on, I'm gonna turn that down to zero. You will get some shadow information cast on here. So you can go into your render properties and you can go into your shadows and you can go uh, global strength down just a little bit. And now that'll kind of weaken your shadows a little bit. Uh, if you want to do a nice graphic style, uh, one of those that's really good is the Poblander Super Shader. So we'll load that up. And then I'm going to turn off that. And we're going to go into, so this is just like an ink outline drawing. And then if we go over here to our material, settings here. I'm going to go to modifiers. I'm going to turn this three. That'll give us a little bit more shaded information. So you can go through here and you can make all sorts of changes here, but here's kind of like a pen and ink uh, version of that. You can throw this into Keyshot if you want to. And again, if you BPR render, you'll get shadow information as well. Um, but it's kind of up to you. There's a bunch of them in there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, if we did want to throw this into Keyshot, we can, we're going to make changes anyways, but we can go in here to the comma key here. Let's go to render. You know what, before we do that, let's let's make some changes here. I'm gonna go to uh, skin shader and we're just gonna use the skin shader at first. Cause what I'm gonna do is let's go to go, go ahead and go to, uh, let's see, Z plugin. We're going to go to sub tool master. We're gonna go to feel fill and we're gonna fill material and color on all of our sub tools here. Okay, so now we got those all filled. I am going to make some slight modifications to this uh, head here before we go into render. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this with a color. Let's go ahead and just drag this over. Give him a little bit more of a Batman look. Now I am going to like make it darker around his eyes. I'm going to go to RGB. So I'm just painting with color with a standard brush here. And we're going to darken this up. And then we'll put a little bit of color in his face too. I'm going to drop that RGB intensity down and we'll put in just a little bit of color on his nose here and on his cheeks, maybe a little bit on his lips. Just kind of breathe a little bit of life into him. And then the rest of the stuff, we can just make a, a certain material here. I think that'll work just fine. Oh, and these eyes, I am going to make these a little more faceted. So I'm going to take this smooth subdivision up to four. Okay, I think we're ready to render. So let's go ahead and render. Uh, external render, we'll shoot it over to Keyshot. This is a ZBrush bridge. And we're gonna use ZBrush uh, Keyshot for ZBrush 6. So you can download, you can buy uh, the Keyshot bridge and Keyshot for ZBrush. And that'll, ZBrush for Keyshot, the only downside is you have to go through ZBrush, but since I do everything through ZBrush anyways usually, it's not a huge deal. And now we've got our Batman head render. Uh, for the Batman head, we'll start with just like maybe a hard shiny blue and then double click this and then we'll go ahead and change this to whatever 
kind of blue we're looking for. What blue are we looking for here? Oh, that's not really blue at all. It's very, very desaturated. So we'll go ahead and desaturate the heck out of that. I mean, if you want a little bit of blue, you can dial in a little blue, but we'll desaturate that. And we'll also go ahead and rough this up a little bit. So we'll add a little bit of roughness here. Uh, for the eyeballs, well, for the skin here, um, I think that'll work. Let's go ahead and bring in a little bit of specular. And also, let's put them in an environment that's a little bit more reflective. There's an outdoor one that's like at nighttime. You know what ZBrush does? Give them a little bit more of a Batman look. Alleyway Batman. I'm going to hold down Control and then left mouse so we can kind of just move this around. Now, if we want our environment lighting it, but we don't necessarily see our environment, we can go over here to Environment, turn on Color, and then just darken that down. So that we got that uh, going. We can also change the brightness or the contrast of that environment if we want to. Kind of overshoot that just a bit. Um, for the eyelashes here, I'm just going to go over here to the material. We'll do a hard, shiny black. And then we'll double click this and we'll just change that roughness up just a bit. Now, I did kind of like that one. Let's take hard, shiny black and then we'll make that a little rougher. It's a little bit more true to form here. Okay, uh, for this one here, let's go ahead and change that specular to white. And then the roughness, we'll knock that down just a bit. We'll change our diffuse transmission, or is it the specular transmission? I forget which. This is kind of a translucent shader here. So we kind of change that a little bit here. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, to be honest. I'm just kind of playing with some sliders here. Let's go ahead and zoom into this face. Let's also make sure, yeah, I'm only using a bit of my uh, roughness here. And we've also, we're using light, we're using basic lighting, so I can just kind of dial in quickly. And I'm on my laptop, so again, once I get my new system, we'll, we'll discuss a little bit more performance stuff, but uh, I think that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and make that a little rougher. And then under the diffuse here, uh, we can blend with a different color if we want to make it um, give a particular look. But this one I don't really necessarily need to do. So I think we're okay here. So I'll let this sit here. Oh, you know what? We need to do one more thing. Let's go to an emissive cool. And uh, oh, there we go. So now with light around there this skin's going crazy. So now I can take this diffuse transmission and we can drop that back down to black, I think, or is it the specular transmission is going nuts? Yeah, there we go. So we can crank up that specular transmission just a little bit, but with those emissive eyes, probably not gonna do us any favors. Um, you can also, if you wanna do like an area light, you could throw an area light in there and then his eyeballs will actually light up his face a little bit more, but I think emissive is fine. So you can go through here and you can dial in the intensity of that emissive. If it's too intense, you can drop it down just a bit. But something like that.